Hello and welcome to the Hindus Budget 2024 coverage. In this episode, we talk about announcements that matter to the insurance sector. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman might not have specifically mentioned about measures related to insurance sector in her speech, but there were enough in the speech that would directly and indirectly impact the sector. Let's look into them one by one. One is related to insurance commission under which the rate of TDS will be reduced from 5% to 2% effective April 1, 2025. In the other announcement, the rate of TDS on life insurance policy will also be reduced from 5% to 2% and this will come into effect from 1st October 2024. One another announcement in the budget that may have a bearing on the insurance sector in the long run, Finance Minister's announcement regarding a financial sector vision and strategy that will be evolved by the government. The Finance Minister said, for meeting financial needs of the economy, our government will bring out a financial sector vision and strategy document to prepare the sector in terms of size, capacity, and skills. This will set the agenda for the next five years and guide the work of the government, regulators, financial institutions and market participants. But the budget also had another proposal which is bound to create some confusion in the insurance sector. Rishabh Gandhi, Managing Director and CEO at India First Life, while welcoming the budget, mentioned this. He says, the introduction of a clause pertaining to non-deductible expenses in Section 37 for life insurance companies may lead to tax litigation. The proposed hike in capital gain tax is also something of a bother for the insurance sector. It is expected to impact the tax liabilities for ULIP policy holders. However, the ULIP policy holders purchasing policies with premium of less than rupees 2.5 lakh per annum can continue to avail the benefits under section 10, 10D and are not liable to pay any tax on maturity. Presenting the budget, the finance minister also mentioned about measures needed to prevent misuse of deductions of expenses claimed by life insurance business under section 44 of the act on the alleged misuse of deductions on expenses by the insurers, the finance minister, the budget document notes that it has been observed that there have been instances where non-business expenses have been claimed by life insurance companies and there is no provision add back these to the income of such companies. In order to ensure that provisions are not misused, to claim deduction for expenses which are otherwise not admissible under the provisions of section 37, the budget proposes to amend rule 2 of the first schedule of the act to provide that any expenditure which is not admissible under the provisions of section 37 shall be included to the profits and gains of the life insurance business. The amendment will take effect from the first day of April 2025 and will accordingly apply from assessment year 2025-26 onwards. Amit Roy, partner and leader, insurance and allied business of PwC India says, the growth and development oriented budget is likely to have a positive impact on the insurance sector. It will also create opportunities for specialized insurance products for emerging sectors like renewable energy.